Wow. Radio, huh? Radio. 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 Radio, Elvis. Radio, David. Radio. Ra hey, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, the incredible photographer that we have with us tonight is the official photographer of the greatest university in the world, Syracuse University. And I'm telling you, Steve, I read the book, all I get is called, you, got all, you got all the pictures, huh? You got all the pictures. Well, radio, R-A-D-I-O, radio. Microphones, transmitters, audio consoles, turntables, cart machines, Oh man, modulation meters, compression limiters, towers, 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 the code beacon light flashing at the top of a radio tower, four or five tower AM directionals, Elvis, those days when I used to have my first phone on the wall, you know, engineering, man, incredible. You know, I thought I would do something different this week. <laughs> Last year, when I uh, had the opportunity to address this incredible, brilliant audience of great radio people, who many of, all of them, a lot of them have Syracuse University degrees, and there are others working on Syracuse University degrees and various fields, most of mass communications. I realized last week that somebody yelled out radio quite early. And that meant that the rigor, the cognitive depth of the presentation needed to have a little more depth to it, you know? <laughs> because somebody hollered out radio last year, and I was only about five minutes into the speech, Scotty McFarland. <laughs> so, Scotty Mike, by the way, Scotty McFarland, man, Cox Television, Washington, D.C. Hey, hey, Scotty, you work in the White House, right? President Barack Obama, President Barack Obama. My prediction, this wonderful president's only been in office five weeks. He's already had Stevie Wonder and Earth, Wind, and Fire at the White House. I saw him last night sitting on a basketball game. And of course, I see an interesting new dynamic with regards to radio's management model with a new reconfig NTIA, National Telecommunication Information Agency. That's not on the card there. Ha ha. Ha ha. Department of Commerce. And there's another organization I'll get to a little bit later, which I know is probably out there. But I'm not going to call it just yet because I don't about to say radio just yet. So let me do it this way. You know, I'm really humbled tonight and. A lot of stuff is going on in my life tonight, and I have another thing to share with you. It'll be in the presentation. I won't hold it too long tonight, but I know all of you want to you travel far distance to see your old professor, Dr. Rick Wright of the Newhouse School. And you wanted to have a show, baby. You need an act that attracts. You got one tonight. Elvis, hey, David Katz, Dr. Sheldon Gilbert, <laughs> David Hey, hey, David, by the way, I'm auditioning for the act, man. You know, 10%? Uh, what, what, what do I need to give you, 15 or 10? 15%? All righty. Elvis, what you paying, man? What you getting off the top? 15, 20? Well, what, what, is, what is David taking off? He takes everything, huh? Z100. Um, hey, look, is Scott Shannon still around? <laughs> is Scott Shannon still around? I remember when Scott was down at WFLA, man, down in Tampa, St. Petersburg, Florida. In fact, there's another great Newhouse grad named Dave Zeppelwitz. Dave is a WJPZ or two. He did a thing called Cigar Dave with the cigars and stuff. Hanging out. What's those two jocks on the WFLA? Uh, they've split up now. BMJ and BJ. Oh, yeah, two crazy cats, man. Well, let me get a little serious here, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, because I just got some bad news from Dan Austin. <laughs> Dan's great general manager, right, Dan? Citadel Broadcasting, man, the WJPZ here who's running four big powerhouse radio stations here in Syracuse, New York. Well, man, this one might be on the card, but I, I, how can I do it a little bit differently? 
What time is it right now? Oh my God, the good Lord works in mysterious ways. Family, WJPZ Alumni Association, it is coming up two minutes before the hour of 10 o'clock. And if you were to go back to the year 1971 in Syracuse, New York, on a Saturday night, coming up at 10 o'clock, guess what? A guy by the name of Bob Shannon, that's his New York air name on WCBS FM. His name in those days was Don Bombard. Don Bombard, coming up 10 o'clock. And Don is leaving that studio called 1260. I'm not gonna say the call letters just yet now, all right? I'm not gonna say the call letters. 1260 on the dial. Hey, Dan, what, what you calling there? ESPN Sports Radio? That's Dan Austin, our great uh, Dan Austin, big WJP. Dan, you're handling all the money in here, aren't you? <laughs> Dan's handling the money, and it ain't funny either. Well, anyhow, coming up 10 o'clock on a Saturday night, about this time in 1971, a little guy would show up on the air by the name of Rick Wright all through the night, better known as the Galloping Ghost from Coast to Coast, welcoming you to Double Q, nope. 1260, <laughs> Saturday Night of Gold, baby. Sponsored by Pizio's, home of the Italian sausage in three great locations here in Syracuse, New York. <laughs> and by the way, uh, if you are the 50th person to show up through the door of our eerie little location, you will win a free hamburger and a free shake by just simply saying you're checking out Rick Wright on 1260, Double Q. All righty, 5,000 watts, 24 hours a day. And I would kick off with a Chuck Berry record. Roll over Beethoven. Tell Tuskoski the news. I got a little record I'm going to play for you by your local DJ. 1260, Saturday night of gold. Don Bombard with the New York became Bob Shannon and got rich. Well, at about the 45-minute presentation, I got to kind of redeviate the presentation because at 45 was when we had news. And the newscast opened up. There was a disc jockey by the name of Big George Plavakas. Big George is no longer with us, former general manager of 93Q and his sister station. And George had an intro to the news that went something like this. More than $50,000 has been awarded in W. <laughs> Lucky Social Security Numbers Contest. If this is your lucky Social Security number, call W in 10 minutes and win $100. The Social Security numbers went something like this, 000-01-0510. Dandy Dan Leonard, who had, was the program director, and Dan, by the way, was an incredible disc jockey here in Syracuse, on W and also W when it has an animal's name to it. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that at all, did I? I, I didn't say that at all, did I? 1490 on the dial. Well, anyhow, Dan Leonard got the Social Security numbers off of the dead roster rolls at funeral homes. So everybody was already dead. But anyhow, the newscast would have gone something like this because this story just came down and based on the new technologies that all of you have to deal with today in the field of radio. Here's the newscast. More than $50,000 is awarded in double Q. Lucky Social Security Numbers Contest. If this is your lucky Social Security number, call W in 10 minutes and win $100. This hour's lucky Social Security number is 000-01. Dash zero one five zero. Paul Harvey died tonight, 90 years old. And now you know the rest of the story. True story. Paul Harvey. So everybody, let's have a, a round of silence for a great broadcaster, Mr. Paul Harvey. Good day. Okay, now back to the radio show. Paul, look after me up in heaven, baby. <laughs> <laughs>